Hey everyone, it's Sean from Our Bronco Life, and today I'm going to show you guys Sync 4. Sync 4 is a completely new design for Ford. It has new hardware, new software. It's available on the F-150, the Mustang Mach-E, and the 2 and 4-door 2021 model year Broncos. Now Sync 4 comes standard with an 8-inch touchscreen on most Broncos, but you can option for that 12-inch touchscreen on the High and Lux package. And today, I'm going to show you guys the 12-inch touchscreen version of Sync 4. <laughs> Alright, so this is Sync 4 with the optional 12 inch touchscreen display. The Bronco is the third vehicle in the Ford lineup to feature Sync 4, joining the already F 150 and the Mustang Mach E. Sync 4 is more intuitive, has better voice commands, has over the air updates, wireless Apple CarPlay, and so much more. As you can see on the bottom here, you have different tabs to go to different areas of your Sync 4. Your audio tab, which you can scroll through different sources as well. Go from AM, FM to Sirius in your Bluetooth audio. And you can even have your programs here on the bottom with the Sirius icons. Your phone, which you can pair up to 10 different phones and use your wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, which we will show you later. Your navigation, which you can search for recents and save searches. It is more intuitive to use. You even have a pinch to zoom feature like you would on your smartphone or tablet. It's very fast and responsive. You can save many different save points where you can just use your voice command to say, take me home or take me to work. You got your apps tab and your settings, which a lot of great features under the settings that will teach you how to use most of these things. So if you go into vehicle and you can program all of your vehicle customizations right here and your vehicle settings, if you need more info on any of them, you just hit that I button and a warning will come up and it will tell you what each one means for that. Also on Sync 4 is a great feature is the digital owner's manual. So if you go under the features and you go to the owner's manual, all digital, you can search it essentially like you're searching for Google. So you can do a visual search or you can even just type in random uh, things that you have questions about and it'll pop up different areas of the owner's manual all digitally for you. And there's already preloaded videos in there for you to watch in your vehicle. So anytime you want to search for a vehicle, it'll just load up and you can play it. So that's a great feature and easier to use than just flipping through an owner's manual book. Also under features, you have your driver assistance all under there. And what's great about this one is if you hit the I again for information, it'll pull up an animation and tell you what exactly this safety feature means if you were to get some kind of alert that you were not familiar with. So for lane keeping, it describes the feature for you right then and there. More driver assist features there. Then back under features, the zone lighting is a great feature that you can also control from your Ford Pass app. You can activate the zone lighting on your Bronco by tapping these buttons on the screen, or you can also do it with your Ford Pass app if you're at a campsite or a work site. You got a towing checklist as well. just to make sure everything is hooked up correctly before you start towing. And on the right side, these are different pages. So you can tip, hit this button right here and you can swipe through different pages. Kind of like a shortcut screen there, or you can use these up and down arrows on your pages. And at any time, if you want the smaller pages size to be on the big side, you just simply drag it over. Or you can click it and it'll swap. The 360 camera has been upgraded as well. So you have cameras under each mirror, one in the front and one in the rear, and they sit together to make it look like a bird's eye view of your Bronco. Now you can toggle between the full front view or 180 degree 
wide angle view for you. You can activate the camera by hitting that button right there. If you are in park or drive, it will automatically activate when you're in reverse or in select drive modes of your GOAT modes. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is a new feature for the Sync system. It is simply embedded into your Sync system rather than taking over the whole screen. So it is a more seamless design. Right here you have your own CarPlay tab where the previous phone tab would be. You can tap that and then you bring up your Apple CarPlay. So you have the shortcut screens right here. You can swipe over to your different apps. Click on the side for your Google or Apple Maps, your music, or listen to any of your podcasts. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Stay tuned for more videos coming to our channel.